Okay, let's talk about development now, development of the nervous system. So we start, this whole process is called neurulation. We start with this, neural plate, it's come together like this, okay? It's going to fold up into a tube. As you can see, the top of the purple and the top of this purple will come together. Right here, you're going to make a little neural tube. It comes together, this is a tube, and then you have neural crest cells. So the neural tube becomes the, um, the central nervous system, that is the brain and then the spinal cord. The neural crest is the peripheral nervous system. So all the nerves that are not in the brain or the uh, spinal cord. The lumen of this tube, the, the hole becomes your brain's ventricles and then the central canal of the spinal cord. Note that this here, right here, is this cross section. And it's, you're going to actually start right in the middle, in the midline of the neural plate. And it's going to go two ways. It's going to go front anteriorly and posteriorly. It's going to zip up both ways, okay? Um, when the anterior side zips up, it becomes the brain. And when the posterior side zips up, it's, it becomes the spinal cord. And this will actually be relevant for us, so keep that in mind. Anterior becomes the brain. Uh, posterior becomes the spinal cord. So when this goes wrong, this is called neural tube defects. This is a failure of the anterior or posterior neural pore to fuse. So what happens when this, um, if you get this, is you get a connection between the spinal canal and the amniotic cavity. That is, um, so the baby's spinal cavity is not um, fused. So there's a connection between that and the amniotic fluid inside the mom's belly, inside her, um, inside her placenta. So you're going to get leakage of AFP and acetylcholinesterase from the, the, from the baby into the amniotic fluid of the mother. So you're going to have increased AFP and acetylcholinesterase in the mother's amniotic fluid. And that's going to tell you that it's likely that um, the baby has some neural tube defects. This is often caused by low maternal folate levels. Folate you need for DNA synthesis and everything. So when there's low levels of that, your baby's going to have neural tube defects. So when the cranial end, that's the anterior end of the neural tube, fails to close, that's called anencephaly. We're going to talk about that in a second. And then spina bifida is when the caudal end or the posterior end of the neural tube fails to close. So cranial is more the head, caudal is more the butt area, okay? So anencephaly, as we said, is failure of the anterior neural pore to close. Remember, that's the brain side, so the, the baby's missing a forebrain and has an open skull. Right here, a missing open skull right here, missing forebrain. It's kind of like a, it looks kind of like a frog. And then the mother, notably, will have polyhydramnios because the baby does not have a swallowing center. That's in the brain. Baby doesn't is missing that part. Baby is not swallowing. There's going to be excess amniotic fluid in the mother. So it's polyhydramnios. That's uh, something to note, keep note of. Spina bifida is failure of the posterior vertebral arches to close. So this is your vertebral arch. And in spina bifida, you actually have, have an opening here, okay? It's going to be an opening right here. It's going to be an opening, so it doesn't close. Um, there's multiple types of spina bifida. Um, in order of least to most severe, first is spina bifida occulta. It's just an opening, uh, but you see no herniation of the meninges or the spinal cord. Uh, and first, let me define the meninges again. Remember, we said the meninges is the wrapper, the wrapper for the central nervous system. It surrounds the brain and it surrounds the central, the, um, the spinal cord itself. It's attached to the spinal cord. The pia mater is attached to it, and then there's the, arach the arachnoid layer, and then there's the dura layer. So there's um, there's just a uh, opening in the vertebral arch, but there's no nothing is popping out. So oftentimes you see a little dimple of hair or a little dimple in the back where the um, defect is. Uh, so it's a very benign uh, problem. Meningeal seal, on the other hand, is um, get um, basically herniation of the meninges, the wrapper of the spinal cord, that herniates out, and you get a cystic mass that you see here. However, the spinal cord is where it should be. There is no herniation of the spinal cord. So it just makes sense. Meninges, meningeal seal. Seal is just either like a herniation or a swelling. So swelling of the meninges. Meningeal myelocele is then um, a cystic mass, but it's due to herniation of both the meninges and the spinal cord. So both stick out. And again, in the name, you see the meninges and the myelo. Milo is, uh, stands for the spinal cord for neural tissue. So meningeal myelocele is with herniation in the meninges and the spinal cord. You have much more symptoms because your spinal cord is sticking out. 
Um, most severe of this all is myeloschisis, aka rashkisis. That's when the spinal cord is exposed and there is no skin or meninges covering it. At least in meningeal myelocele, they're still covered. It's the spinal cord is still covered by skin and the meninges, even though it's sticking out. In myeloschisis, it's completely exposed. There's nothing covering it. So that's the most severe one. Finally, we have hollow prosencephaly. This is failure of the brain to divide. No, you know your brain has the left and right hemispheres. Originally, it started with one, and it split into two. If it doesn't happen, this is hollow prosencephaly. Um, it may be related to mutations in the sonic hedgehog signaling pathway. I'm not going to go into that. Um, and then you can have a moderate form, which is a cleft lip or palate, and then a severe form with cyclopia. As we can see in this picture, there's only one eye. It's, um, it's basically just it's just not divided, so everything is just midline. It's just straight down, and there's only one of everything. So that's it for our disorders of develop 